views is that uh, we've always seen that cultural racism is something that is very central in Pakistani society. We saw that how Karachi and Islamabad would see the the Bangladeshi Muslims when it comes to the 1971 conflict. Do you see that same sense of cultural racism when it comes to Balochistan where the people of Karachi and Islamabad see them as second class citizens? Oh, absolutely. See, when it comes to Pakistan, Pakistan has always been about Punjab or Pakistan. Uh, they are uh, almost alter ego of each other. Uh, you know, if you look at the Baloch uh, regiment of uh, Pakistan army, almost 98% as per certain reports, almost 98% of the personnel of Baloch regiment consists of Punjabis. So there are demographic changes that Pakistan has tried in uh, Pakistan occupied Kashmir, in certain parts of Baluchistan, where they're trying to, uh, you know, overwhelm the local population by putting in Punjabis from the Punjab region of Pakistan. And that kind of racial attitude has always remained. Remember, um, even when, uh, you know, people from Indian origin uh, went to uh, Pakistan, they were called Muhajids. And secondly, uh, it is primarily because of uh, the racist uh, approach, the fact that they believe that Muslim, they are, in spite of the fact that they are all Muslims, they believe that they are superior to everyone else. That's the reason that, uh, you know, East Pakistan became Bangladesh because Mujibur Rahman, in spite of willing, in spite of winning the popular mandate, was not allowed because they always looked down at the Bengalis, the Bengali Muslims of Pakistan. And that's the reason that secession happened. That kind of secession could have happened with Baluchistan also, but the reality is in the 1980s, because the Americans and the and certain Middle Eastern countries required, uh, you know, Pakistan to stop the, the 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 invading Soviet army. So they funded, incubated, nurtured ISI to help in return create a jihadi organization and the Mujahideens to fight on behalf of. Uh, the West, on behalf of the West, that they would keep wage the fight against uh, Soviet Union. And that's the reason Pakistan got, you know, rescued. Frankly speaking, Pakistan has always remained a failed state. It has never been a viable state. The only reason they survived, the only reason they have completely been able, at least to a certain extent in the past, to crush all the secessionist forces is not because there is a, uh, you know, centrifugal, centrifugal force which combines and holds them together as in as it is in case of India. But the only reason they have been able to crush the secessionist movements or the independent movements is because they have always got the funds from the West to crush them in lieu of doing the dirty work for the West. So that racist approach remains major, uh, you know, heads of states of Pakistan have always been Punjabis. They might put up somebody of other origin from Balochistan as, a, as an ornamental, in an ornamental position. But Punjab is Pakistan and Pakistan is Punjab has always always been there and if you go to other places of Punj Pakistan the kind of disdain and hatred they have with Pakistan from for, for the Punjabi Pakistanis uh, is very profound and evident and I've heard about it from people of India who went to uh, say Middle East to work and met Pakistanis who were not from Punjab and they have told the kind of disdain they have for people of uh, Punjab province so that is a reality of Punjab uh, that is a reality of Pakistan but today uh, because of social media, because of greater awareness, I think there is a renewed uh, revolt which is happening, which is perhaps being led by Tariq Taliban and the merger of several Baloch based uh, insurgent organizations who in turn are joining hands with Tariq Taliban to crush what is called the hegemony of Punjab in the state of Pakistan. Right. But